Yo, my sister said podcast is back with a vengeance. <laughs> just kidding, it's not a vengeance. It's just new episodes in a brand new series called Lessons from the Predatory Church. So if you're someone who is healing from spiritual abuse, someone who is just has been hurt by their church and wants to learn how to get through it, I dive into the, the traits of all the, of these toxic churches and how to, first of all, heal from it and how to keep yourself and your community and your church safe from these really devastating practices before you end up in therapy and on antidepressants. So, <laughs> so join me October 1st in episodes every other week, starting with part two of the modesty myth. And you know, the podcast is still gonna be for Christians going through crap and dealing with stuff and Christians who want a Christian without a stick up their butt. Now back to the video you actually wanted to watch. So it's Damini teaching you the exact words to say when you pray aloud over a meal. Um, this is gonna be five literally simple steps. I'm going to crawl through these steps because I know praying for food can be difficult and it's still public speaking, but also there's a lot of different situations where people pray over food, you know? So I'm gonna go through all those steps and by the end of it, we'll put that prayer together so you can have a completed prayer at the end. The goal for this prayer, the goal that I have um, for teaching these type of prayers is just to get people comfortable. I want you to be super comfortable and like so confident that you're just like blessing people's food left and like blessings, blessing, blessings, throwing them out there for everybody. And even if they didn't ask, I mean, it's still a blessing. <laughs> and I'm also gonna pro provide three practice scenarios um, and you can just go through those. I also would suggest that if you're practicing that you should try to um, practice with at least one person in the room just so you get an idea of you know what it's like to have someone else listening to your prayer if you're practicing how to pray over a meal in front of people okay um i think do i have anything else i don't think so okay anywho's it's all right let's move into the prayer because i'm taking up too much time all right so um as i said this prayer is going to be five steps five simple steps and that's going to translate into six or more sentences and that can vary because based on the prayer and i'm going to explain that um, while we're going through the, the steps, all right? I'm, as I go through the steps, I'm gonna be using an example of the prayer I prayed for my friend Hillary's wedding reception, the meal of that wedding reception, um, just so that you can understand how that, you know, how it's gonna flow, what it's gonna sound like. And, and okay, so even though like, that sounds formal, right? This is not gonna be, I'm not a formal person, that's the thing, I'm not, I'm pretty casual. <laughs> And you can make this even more casual if you want to. So I'm going to go through the prayer so you have an idea of what it could sound like. All right. Using an actual example. OK, you see me looking over here. It's because it's my list is over here. So I'm going to be looking down sometimes because ah, 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 ah. I wrote it down. All right. So so we're going to start with step number one. OK, step number one is literally straight out of the Lord's Prayer and um, it's to address God. All right. And so we'd start that first sentence, uh, dear heavenly father, or you can start it dear father in heaven or dear Lord or dear God, however you want to start your prayer. And that's how you're going to be addressing God. All right. All right. Um, so step number two. Yeah. No, number one is pretty short. And step number two is to is to give thanks for the day and give thanks for the reason you are gathered for that meal. OK, for step number two, you would start that sentence. Thank you for today and the opportunity to blank. So you finish that sentence. You can say opportunity, you can say chance, you know, whatever synonyms. So like I said before, I'm going to be using the example of my friend Hillary's wedding reception. OK, that I prayed over. And so for my friend Hillary's wedding reception, I would say hey, thank you for today and the opportunity to witness the marriage of Hillary and her husband. OK. And so just for little examples, so if you are, say you are, you know, having brunch with a friend, right? Um, that occasion you're there is the opportunity to just, you know, have a chit chat with a good friend. Or if it's to um, the celebrate, it's like if it's a funeral, you can say the opportunity to celebrate the life of the person who passed. Or if it's, you know, just it's whatever reason that you're there, if you're gathered there for Thanksgiving, that we get to gather for Thanksgiving. Um, so the, uh, the, you know, the occasion can be anything and there's different ways you can say you don't have to say you know to witness this marriage or to witness you know this dinner <laughs> for thanksgiving <laughs> you can say kind of whatever you want to say um just like just the occasion just it's just it can be any reason for why you're gathered for that occasion all right all right so um just oh yeah for a little bitty uh what's it called i want to call this what is it called pro tip for a pro tip, 
All right, say you're um, say this is a Thanksgiving or a Christmas or an Easter, right? Um, if it's one of those things, usually someone's prepared the meal. Someone's you know taken the time, made the effort to get in the kitchen, just get all hot and gross, and prepare a lovely meal. This is the moment. This is the moment where I usually say something about it. I'm like, all right, you know, you want to give thanks to that person for taking the time. And so this is how I would say this. Just a little pro tip, all right, step. So you could start that sentence. So you would say, I also want to thank you for blank, the person's name, <laughs> for preparing this wonderful meal. Pretty simple. So step number three, step number three. Step number three is to ask God to bless the food. Mm, nom, 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 nom. Okay, so, so you would start that sentence Dear Lord, I ask that, or dear Lord, I pray that. And you can use those words inter interchangeably. You don't have to keep like, oh, I'll pray or ask. Uh, same difference, <laughs> same, it's the same thing. It doesn't really matter. Uh, I switch them up all the time. You know, I rarely even notice. And then so the second part of that sentence is gonna be that as we eat, you will bless this food to nourish our bodies. All right, and so you'd say, dear Lord, I pray that, or you can substitute um, pray for ask. Dear Lord, I pray that as we eat, you will bless this food to nourish our bodies, or you'll bless this meal to nourish our bodies. You know, you can say, you know, you can interchange the words if you want to. All right, so step number four, okay? Step, step number four is literally, is, is usually the longest step for me, okay? And I'll make sure I break this down for you so it makes sense, all right? Um, okay, so step number four is to ask God to bless everything about the occasion. Okay, I know, not very specific. I'll break it down though. Okay, so, so um, when I say ask God to bless, you know, bless the occasion, I mean the mood of the occasion, the mood of the people who are, who are being celebrated, um, the atmosphere, uh, the family dynamic. So basically the question you're asking yourself is like, man, if like, if everything went perfectly, what I hope would happen, you know, at this gathering? What is it I want the most from this gathering? You know, that's what you're asking God for. If you think of it like that, this next part will make a lot more sense, okay? So it's, what do I want the most to, out of this gathering, out of this meal, okay? And since there's so many things about the occasion that you can, you know, be praying about and asking for, um, for this prayer, I'm gonna limit it to two. And that's usually about as long as I'll do for like a really short prayer, okay? So, um, so for step number four, we would start that. We would start that sentence. I also ask that blank, and blank. Okay, so you're asking for two things. All right, and let me show you how that sounds. Okay, and I'm going to give you some examples also for other other occasions. Okay, so I'd say I also ask that Hillary and her husband will feel so celebrated today, and at the end of this party, everyone will get home safely. Okay. All right, so the two things I asked for was for the mood of the couple and for the safe travels home, okay? So let me give you a couple examples. So what if you are, you know, just at a chill brunch with friends, right? So the question is, of course, what do you want the most out of this prayer? So you, you can just say something like, um, you know, dear Lord, I asked, I pray that we can just enjoy ourselves. No one would get too drunk. We would all just have a great time and just there'd be laughter and joy. Yeah, okay. And then say you're at a funeral, like, you know, a solemn occasion, like a funeral or a wake. You could say, um, you know, I just pray that there'll be peace in this household and the person who lost someone will be, you know, comforted, or you can ask for, there will just be, you know, the celebration of the life that was lost. You can ask for those things. And then if it's kind of like a, a large occasion, you can pray for um, everyone to enjoy themselves. There'd be a lot of joy, no drama, no drama, no family drama. <laughs> and this is time that usually I will invite God's presence into the equation, right? Because like, you'll want him there. He is like, guest of honor brings all the good gifts, you know, fruit of the spirit. Those are gifts. And um, uh, like, you know, kindness, peace, joy, self-control. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the good stuff he brings. So yeah, I'm vitamin. Come on. All right. So, um, Oh, and then, so if you're, you know, praying over a conflict meal, you can ask for, you know, open, open ears, good communication, just, you know, gentle spirits, you know, it's what you want the most out of that occasion. I just want to remind you again, that's all you're doing, talking to God and asking him to bless a meal. That's a part of that blessing. Okay. All right. So 
Step number five, last and last final step, okay? All right, so step number five is to give thanks for the day again, and then close your prayer, okay? Step number five, we would start that sentence, thank you again for today, in your son's name, amen. Or you can say, you know, in your precious name, in um, Jesus's name, in, you know, or just say amen, whichever. You don't have to close it the way I close it, of course. All right, so, you know, we're just gonna put that all together. Put that all together. All right, so we're just gonna put that all together and we're um, gonna have to have a lovely example of a prayer for my friend's reception dinner, okay? Oh yeah, and by the way, so for this prayer, I'm also going to add in a little bit some of my my own words, just so you can see how it sounds like you can make this really casual and sound like you and flow like you and just, you know, be a conversation between you and God. Let's go. So you sound like this, you can just listen. All right, so it should sound like, your Heavenly Father, I just wanna thank you so much for the opportunity to witness the marriage of my friend Hillary and her husband. Um, dear, dear Lord, I ask that as we eat, you would bless this food to nourish our bodies. I also ask that Hillary and her, her husband will just feel celebrated and loved this evening and that you will just, you will provide everyone who attended this party safe travels home. Thank you so much again for today. And it is in your name I pray. Amen. All right, so those are the exact words to say when you're praying aloud over a meal. And I really hope this helped, <laughs> I really do. And um, please don't forget to put the little, um, the little prayers below, please. I think it's so cute. All right, thank you so much. I'll talk to you later. Ah. <laughs> ah, yeah, this is your first video of me. This is how I be. Ah. <laughs>